Hello, it's Julian Meller, Positive Impact Golf Coach. Um, from some of my videos that I've put on YouTube, a few uh, emails that I've received from them is, would you mind hitting shots with a variety of clubs? Starting from like a pitching wedge up to a driver. Um, so I'm just gonna start this video off and hit these shots for you. And make your own mind up uh, about my golf swing and about what you see. Um, but following the six principles of positive impact golf, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn, weight shift, have a look at the rhythm of my golf swing, the coordination, the balance, and what we call suplesse, which is being supple. I've got, uh, I've got a sand wedge here, I've got an eight iron, a five iron, it's actually a four wood and a driver. I'll just hit these first, and then I want to ask you a, a question. This is my sand wedge swing. Just swap that now for an eight iron. It's gonna hit an eight. That was sweet. That's probably gone 150-ish. Five iron. That two was quite nice. A little forward that I've got here. That one's gone like a rocket. It's gone well, well over 200 yards. And I'll just uh, finish off with my driver. That one's easily gone over 250. Um, as an ongoing survey at Positive Impact Golf, we ask people why they don't have golf lessons. We get a variety of replies, but one of the most common ones is coaches are too technical and they always get worse when I've had a lesson. Uh, I can't always argue with that. I think a lot of golf coaches are over technical. Uh, certainly at Positive Impact Golf, we, we try to avoid that. We don't want to confuse people. In fact, one of the things that we say is we retain the complexity and pass on the simplicity. Um, how do you feel about golf lessons? It'd be really interesting uh, for you to send me your answer. And, and if, you're, if you probably searched out this video, you may have put in, in the search engine something like the easy swing, an easy swing senior golf swing those type of words which means that you're searching for a simpler golf swing um, an email i received yesterday from a chap in australia was every every time he plays golf he's just got technical thoughts in his mind he has about 18 swing thoughts he says and he's not enjoying golf anymore he doesn't he really finds it too complex he can't move very well because he's got so many things going on in his mind. And I can honestly say, when I hit my golf balls now, it's very rare that I even have a swing thought. Um, I practice La Dance to Golf countless times, at least a hundred times every day. I get really good at that bit. And that starts to become automatic. Um, I teach a brain surgeon, which I do find quite amusing. Uh, but I was asking about humans and what they need to do to improve. And, and he, he, he said, in, in its simplest form, humans need two things. They need um, to practice it thousands of times and they need positive feedback. And without the feedback, they're probably not going to improve or change their technique. Um, so a lot of people are searching out advice on YouTube. I mean, this is why we're putting our videos on here to try and help people. 
but what you're not going to get from YouTube is the positive feedback which you need if you're going to start to make some changes. Um, I do quite a lot of online coaching and we share emails and we share videos and it's, it's me giving that positive feedback that's really starting to help people. Um, if you're making the golf swing too difficult, if you're finding it confusing, I would definitely seek out one of the Positive Impact Golf Coaches. Um, there's, there's three of us in the UK, there's a guy in Jersey, Mike Dealey, and there's people abroad. Uh, but if you go on the Positive Impact Golf website, you should find their information. Um, any questions, as always, by all means send them, send them to me. My full details are on my website, juliemellagolfschool.co.uk. Um, hope you enjoy your golf and look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye-bye.